It's another week right here on Locked On Spurs, which means another visit by Dr. Ryan McCorkle. You are Locked On Spurs, your daily San Antonio Spurs podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome back to Locked On Spurs. We're here on the Locked On NBA Network. I'm your host, Jeff Garcia, Spurs writer for Kins 5 San Antonio. Glad to have you back. Hey, everybody. The season is winding down. Rapid. More games left. The last Spurs game in San Antonio for this season. Done. Yeah. It went by super, super fast. But that does not mean there's still stuff to talk about on the medical side of your San Antonio Spurs. What are we talking about today with the doctor? We're going to be going our very interesting yeah, but funny question. But it bears asking, though. I never thought about this. Regarding Sohan and his hair. Also, why the Bates Diop Award for the NBA's Community Assistant Award for February really should hit a home and why everybody should follow his lead. And then Romeo Langford. Yeah, what to do, what to do. He's been more injured than not this season. I was going to bring him on. He is Dr. Ryan McCorkle. He is back. Doctor, we finally got our schedules to line up. Yes, finally. <laughs> finally. Finally, yeah. Usually you come on early in the week, but um, I got my schedule was a little messed up. I had a uh, had to re- move some things around. By the way, you're you're, you're only following yesterday's lockdowns podcast with you know just the VP of basketball administration for the Spurs. That's all. Uh, no pressure. That's all. No pressure. No pressure at yeah. all, Jeff. I appreciate. No that. pressure at all. Yeah, yeah. No, my hey. schedule <laughs> flipping the night is, is kind of crazy with the ER too. So I apologize not for not being available sooner. But I'm glad we got together. Yeah, we you know it's not not a problem, you know, because there really hasn't been any major injury this uh since the last time we spoke. Uh nothing really huge. Uh, but there are some interesting questions and some, for lack of a better term, PSAs that I know you definitely want to get out there to Spurs fans and uh, and much, much more. Make sure to follow Dr. Ryan McCorkle on Twitter at Austin ER Doc. He's an ER doc at the St. Davis Medical Center and Austin Emergency Center. He's also with the backstage medical and concierge practice. Doctor, we had a very interesting question from a fan. But it's interesting, but it's it, it's funny. But there is a part of me that's just so super curious. So, between your last show and now, uh, fans were tuning into your uh, weekly spot last week, and then a fan decided to hit us up and ask us. So, that will ask you mainly, not me. Uh, but hey. Should Sohan be worried about hair cu- hair dye slash hair coloring? Would that affect his skin? That's basically was the essence of it. Doctor, as funny as that is, I'm starting to think, well, is there a risk of his skin getting maybe irritated or something? Yeah, no, I, I actually, after the, the fan said it, I didn't want to, you know, at first I was just kind of glib, uh, but I wanted to do the research to, to actually, you know, be sure. So I looked into yeah. some a lot of studies with the American Cancer Society and, you know, because some of those things have been carcinogens that are things that can cause cancer in the hair dye, but only if they're ingested, not just by putting them on the hair. There's been no link to using the hair dye with any particular cancer or raising your risk. The only thing they talk about is allergic reactions that people have to the dye. And I do see those fairly frequently in the, uh, in the ER especially mm-hmm. when people use really aggressive straighteners or dye from a very dark color to a very light color. And they, right. uh, they leave that stuff on a little too long. You see burns, chemical burns of the scalp and around the, the forehead. Uh, but obviously, you know, Jeremy's not having any of those reactions. He seems to be doing fine. Uh, we talked about Rodman, you know, having no problems, you know, when, when he dyed his hair extensively. And, <laughs> and uh, I'm sure there's a lot of our listeners who dye their hair on a regular basis. Yeah, so they don't don't have any issues. There don't seem to be any any issues. Uh, when what, 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 what long term health goes. Yeah, when well, I saw that message, I go, well, there fills in a little bit of time that we got to fill up in this show. <laughs> so we can we can you definitely <laughs> use that one. But uh, yeah, I, I never thought about that hair dye and coloring and effects on the skin. I know you're not a dermatologist, but at the same time, I know you're well versed in that area to know enough with your uh, credentials. But yeah, I thought about that. You know, I think it, what time it was, I was in high school and I wanted to. Uh, I mean, back in the was in the nineties. Remember the the tips, the oh yeah, um, guys would do the uh, the blonde tips. I did that, and I had a, a reaction to it. Had the had burn like a little bit, like 
sensation around the scalp, like right around the hairline. That's where I felt it. And, For sure. Um, you know, it, it started to scab up. And then he, anyway, it went away, obviously. But I mean, that must have been a very, very harsh chemical they used on me for that treatment there. But hey, um, there's other stuff going on that's a little bit more serious than uh, hair coloring right here on Locked On Spurs. And uh, we're getting into uh, an award that Kieta Bates Diop just recently received this week the NBA Community Assist Award for February. Why did he receive it? Well, because he's such a big advocate of, uh, you, you know, um, CPR training, and uh, I correct me wrong. It's AED. Is that it or AEDA? The the defibrillator. AED. Machine. You got it right. AED. Automated Thank external you. defibrillator. Exactly. And this past season, well, this current season is about to end up. But he visited a local San Antonio high school. He promoted it, and his efforts got recognized. So kudos to Kieda. But Doctor, you want to come on as well and reinforce. Not only the award that Kieda won, but the meaning why he won it and why it's so important uh, for Spurs fans to follow Kieda Bates Diop's lead. Absolutely, I think we saw this uh, this year uh, the Demar Hamlin uh, case that happened on the field. I think got everyone's attention and really uh, put some light on automated external defibrillators (AEDs) and bystander CPR and how important they are. And how they can save lives in those those crucial minutes about restoring blood flow to the brain. So the the work that that Diop's been doing will be important regardless. But I think now it even gets a little more attention in light of what happened to Jamar Hamlin. So um, you get these abnormal rhythms that people go into uh, atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, uh, or ventricular tachycardia, ventricular flutter. Those are the ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation. Uh, those are the the rhythms that will result in sudden cardiac death and need immediate mm-hmm. intervention, and that intervention is electricity. So getting that defibrillator on them, giving them that shock, can, that makes a difference in life and death. That is probably the number one most life-saving thing that people can learn to use and to do in a situation mm-hmm. where you see someone collapse in a public right. place. Now, why uh, Bates Diop has done this is because he, it hit, hit him close to home. I believe his brother was saved by the, that machine that was nearby, people knowing uh, CPR, medical staff that was around him. And that's what really spurred him on, no pun intended, uh, to do what he did and is doing and why he got the award from the NBA. Big award. You know, definitely something to smile about this season and otherwise down, really bad season record-wise with the losses mounting. So that was good to see. But, Doctor, I, I'm you could definitely help on this. But learning CPR slash learning how to use that AED machine is I'm assuming it's not too difficult. No, the, the AED actually has instructions on it uh, with even cartoons on how to use it so that there's no language barrier. You can just look and see what the, the cartoons on the, on the uh, handout show you to do, and it walks you through the steps. But it is very simple, just where to place the patches. Once the patches are placed on, you turn the machine on. The machine actually has voice commands that will tell you when to deliver a shock. It won't deliver a shock until, you know, everyone is clear, you know, and, and uh, it, because it is automated and it, it really is very simple to learn to use. The biggest thing to, to learn is where those things are in a facility where, where you might be, mm. you know, in your local YMCA, your school, uh, your church, any of those things, you can look in, on the walls and see where the AEDs are so that if that does happen, you know where to go. Once you know where to go and get it, the, the handout on it and the machine itself will walk you through how to use it. Uh, I, I and bl- as far as bystander CPR goes, there's classes at every YMCA, most local mm-hmm. um, people can just look up a, a class that's in their area. It, it won't take you more than an hour uh, to go. I mean, you learn the steps in, in two minutes, but then you get to practice with other people on doing it for both adults and for children uh, because right. it really does save lives. You can do one or the other as a, as a, Position, I say, learn to use automated external defibrillator. That that does more than anyone can possibly imagine. But it is mm-hmm. best when it's accompanied by good, uh, effective bystander CPR as well. Yeah, and those machines, they don't look too heavy. I, I remember back in the day, they looked very cumbersome, but they really become streamlined now, haven't they? Oh, yeah, very light. Um, the, the old machines, too, usually have like a 12 dkg on them, and they're, they're 
We still have those because we want to get 12 leads with our patients. You know, we carry these with us uh, to both the Longhorn games, the uh, the Austin FC games, and you'll find them, you know, at all the Spurs games as well. Uh, but yeah, the ones for the public that are that are mounted up on walls are extremely light, probably between five and ten pounds. He is Dr. Ryan McCorkle right here on Locked On Spurs. Follow him on Twitter at Austin ER Doc. And we're talking about your silver and black and not only commending Cade Bates Diab for the award he got regarding CPR slash AED machines, but why you should do that as well. Hopefully you won't be in that position. But if you are, you're well prepared knowing how to use that machine and how to administer CPR. But when we get back, we're going to shift gears to talk about a Romeo Langford. They say the best ability is availability. Well, he hasn't been available. We're going to get doctors' thoughts on that injury that kept him out for a good chunk of the season, and if the Spurs should keep him on uh, as uh, next season, uh, well, as this season winds down and next season is about to uh, begin as far as preparation is concerned. Right here on Lockdown Spurs, I want to talk to you about Ultimate Pro Basketball GM. Look, the coolest game around is here, and it's been a long time since they played a really cool game, the Ultimate Pro Basketball GM. If you always thought how great you could be as an NBA GM, well, if you think you have what it takes, go get it. You realize it's not all that easy. If you had some thought and have fantasized about managing your own basketball uh, franchise, go download Ultimate Pro Basketball GM right now. Look, if you want to start some talking some trash with other people, if you want to start saying that you know how to run with uh, an NBA team and how to manage it, coach it, and what have you, you got to get the app right now. You can deal with challenging personalities, players, and coaches, hire the right coaches and assistants, trading and training players, making draft picks, navigating your franchise through free agency and draft, and all the ups and downs of multiple seasons. All this in a challenging, realistic game world. Ultimate Pro Basketball GM is free. Play ball offline, play ball on the go, as you want and when you want. As mentioned, the Locked On NBA hosts are talking some smack. Get in on the action. Uh, right now, Lockdown Spurs listeners can get themselves a 100% free boost to their franchise when using promo code Lockdown at the game store. Just go check it out. To download the game, visit probasketballgm.com. Scan the code or look it up on the App Store. That's probasketballgm.com. Ultimate Basketball GM. Start your fantasy and your dynasty today. And also, I want to talk to you about our newest sponsor right here on Lockdown Spurs, Mud Slingers Drive Through Coffee. I'm going to tell you right now, the Red Bull infused lightning bolt drink they have. If you need a quick pick me up, yeah, go get it right now over at Mudslingers. So, but if you did stay up late watching the end of last night's Spurs game and you do need that pick me up, then look no further than Mudslingers Drive Through Coffee. Mudslingers is a locally owned independent coffee shop and they're proud to make delicious coffee for our community. They do it fast and friendly so you can get on with your day. So, if you're in that mood for that latte, that cold brew, or that Red Bull infused lightning bolt drink, they have all the drinks for every taste. They got a wide selection of dairy alternatives, low calorie options, even caffeine free drinks for those who want to just take it easy. So swing by Muslinger's Drive Through Coffee for a tasty and convenient caffeine fix right now. Located at 2404 Thousand Oaks Drive near 281 and 1604. They're open every day from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Once again, 2404 Thousand Oaks Drive near 281 and 1604. Life is too short for bland coffee. It's going to bring him back. He is Dr. Ryan McCorkle. And we're discussing your San Antonio Spurs right here on his weekly visit with Locked On Spurs. So, Doctor, first of all, I drink way too many energy drinks. I think you know that. that, that that's a bad advice <laughs> on my part. That's really bad. That's really bad. But I like the I like that that lightning bolt drink that that Muslinger has. It's definitely a pick me up like times ten. But we're here to talk about Spurs, not my vices. Uh, <laughs> That Romeo Lang, yeah, yeah, yeah. Romeo Langford. Uh, if there's one thing that was very common this season, is every time the injury report would pop up, more likely than not, he was on there. It was the um, adductor. Did they get that right? The adductor strain. Um, you got it. Correct. That got that kept him out for a good chunk of the season. He had a quick minute where he played really well, and then back in that IR again, over and over and over again. They say availability is the best ability, but he's been not available a lot this season. Doctor, seeing that injury report, seeing how many times they've been out, in your opinion, do you think the Spurs should part ways with them? Well, like you said, you know, you got to be available and be able to get on the court. 
this someone you want to, you know, take the risk of a long-term contract with when they have had a recurrent um, injury and the same injury. So we had this back with the Celtics. Now he's had it again with the Spurs and then tried to come back and, and had difficulty. So I think he's still got some, some length on his contract. So it's not, it's not, you know, mm-hmm. like you're going to cut him right now, but it's definitely right. something to think about um, long term, being that this seems to be a, an injury that continues to pop up. I think it's, you know, there's not a whole lot of reason to push too hard here at the end of this season. But you got to see an off-season recovery and to be able to come back next year and get through a full season without having to go repeatedly on the IR for this. And if you if you do, then it really is something to consider uh, as far as affecting his long-term career. Is can he stay on the court if this injury is you know continues to recur every season? Are, you look, we're we're not behind the scenes. We're not in the Spurs uh, medical staff meetings and whatnot. But are you? Were you surprised to see how long he was out with that injury? Because when we started talking about it, you know, not only did it become kind of repetitive, we made a joke about it, you know, not at his expense, but just, you know, he's out again. But the type of injury that you spoke about, I'm sorry, the, the degree of it, and we, I think you made that very clear. We don't know the severity of it. We just know the symptom. I remember that's what I learned from you this past season. But he's been out for this long. Um is that a little surprising for you? Well, I mean, it's, again, you know, it's hard to say without, it, I'd love to see the MRI report. You know, you want to know, is this a tear of the actual adductor muscle? And then, you know, it's not surprising. You know, if it's just a strain, but it's a strain that continues to recur over and over, then we do have to wonder, you know, what do you, what do you do for that long term? Um, if it continues to happen, because, you know, it should be extended period of time off, heals, and, and back to normal. But uh, so it, it, it's just impossible to say without looking at the MRI report and seeing what grade of strain we're talking about and was there mm. some tearing of the muscle. But even, you know, regardless, if there was or there wasn't, a whole offseason should be more than enough time to see a full recovery. And if it mm-hmm. occurs after that, then we start to think this is a chronic problem. Is it something congenital? Is it just the way he you know, moves, the, the, the way his game um requires him to use that adductor muscle for the movements that that Mm -hmm. um, he's used to doing for his game is that going to cause this injury to be repetitive uh, every time he tries to get on the court and do the things that that he likes to do uh that that'll be a problem you gotta wonder if the season that it is if a part of it's just like as you mentioned you know no need to rush romeo no need to rush. You know, you know, if they were in the playoffs or in a play in hunt or uh, one of the you know, top dogs in the NBA, you got to wonder if that changes things. Does that make it more you know, important that Romeo comes out and he is ready to go for a body out there for a playoff push or a play in push? So you got to yeah, wonder if, 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 the, if the season itself lent to Romeo being out for so long. Your thoughts? We've talked about this, you know, about several different uh, injuries, but the 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 way the season has turned out, there's no point in pushing anyone to return from injury sooner rather than later. We're not trying to mm-hmm. grind out victories. We're not trying to jockey for playoff position or anything like that. So I think all injuries this season were managed on a much longer timeline than you would have seen them managed if that this were they were in a competitive situation. Uh, mm-hmm. So I think with Romeo, again, there's no no point in pushing him. He's been excellent in the times that he's been able to be on the court. So I think we're just super cautious given that there's there's no stakes to this season. But mm-hmm. next season is going to be the barometer of can he stay on the floor or is this going to be a chronic injury that's going to plague him throughout his career? Yeah, and, and that time that he did get a run in that stretch, middle-ish of the season – you know, great uh, two-way player, plays defense. Uh, Kelton Johnson was applauding his uh, style of play, can light up the basket. You hope he'll come back healthy, but at the same time, you hope it's nothing bad where it repeats again. But signs may point to that, Doctor, because this is nothing new for him in his career. His his Boston career was just marred by injuries. And now here we go again. You know, But, you know, there is a bright – side of things you know he did play more than he has uh, you know with boston seemed to be you know getting there again you just hope it just really was just the fact that they needed to 
you know, get some L's versus getting some W's for the draft lottery. He is Dr. Ryan McCorkle right here on Lockdown Spurs. Follow him on Twitter at Austin ER Doc. Um, he is with the St. David's Medical Center, the Backstage Medical and Concierge Medicine Practice, as well as the Austin Emergency Center. When we get back, we're going to dive into some sneaker news. Sneak, sneaker news. Yes, surprise, surprise. And much, much more right here on Lockdown Spurs. But I want to talk to you about Fan Duel. You know, I got that app right now. The tournament is heating up. There's no better place to get on the action other than FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Because right now, FanDuel is giving new customers a no-sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's $1,000 back in bonus bets. If your first bet doesn't win, just go to FanDuel.com. So let's lock down today to sign up and claim your no-sweat first bet. Then you can wager on everything from the money line to point spread to which team will be cutting down the net. All on one app that's safe, secure, really easy to use. So don't miss out on your shot to get that no sweat first bet up to $1,000. When you join FanDuel today, just go to FanDuel.com slash locked on to sign up. Make every moment more with FanDuel. And once again, I want to also remind you to go check out Muslinger's drive through Coffee out in San Antonio. If you happen to be staying up late last night uh, catching the Spurs Jazz game and you need that pick-me-up, go to Muslinger's drive through right now. It's a locally owned, independent coffee shop, and they're proud to make delicious coffee for our community fast and friendly so you get on with your day. You need that latte, you need that cold brew, you just need a coffee, or you, you really need to charge up your morning or night or day or afternoon, then get that Red Bull infused lightning bolt. They have drinks for every taste. We also have a wide selection of dairy alternatives, low calorie options, even caffeine free drinks for those who want to just take it easy. So swing by Muslinger's drive through coffee for a tasty and convenient caffeine fix located at 2404 Thousand Oaks Drive, your 281 to 1604 open every day, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Go out there right now. Life is too short for bland coffee. All right, Dr. McCorkle is with us right here on Lockdown Spurs for his weekly visit, and we'll definitely be talking about sneakers, but Austin is about to be invaded by the San Antonio Spurs. Get ready. Have, what are you seeing out there in Austin? Well, with uh, Jeremy Sochan and the Coyote, we're here the uh, day before yesterday. Uh, right down the street from where I was working at Austin Emergency Center. They were at the HEB on the corner. Uh, and then also they did an appearance over at, uh, at Native Hostel. It's, it's right, uh, right down the street from my house. And, uh, nice. I wish I hadn't have been working. I would have definitely gone to check him out, but he's been, uh, he was promoting the, the two games that are coming up next week. Uh, mm-hmm. Kelvin Johnson was here in town doing, uh, photo shoots around the, the city with the Austin skyline and also, working out in the Longhorns gym while they were, they nice. were, uh, going through the, uh, the, uh, March Madness tournament. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we've, we've had a lot of, uh, folks promoting the upcoming games. Manu was also here in town at the Austin right. Spurs game, but also promoting, um, coming up the, the two games at the Moody, uh, center, uh, this coming week. So we've been really excited to have, uh, old Spurs, current Spurs and, uh, and then the whole team coming up soon here in Austin. I was, I was messing with you earlier saying like, well, you got a big act to follow. You know, we went at the Spurs VP basketball ad- admin on yesterday's show, but he also let yeah. out uh, a little bit of a nugget that there are going to be some high profile celebrities attending both games uh, out in Austin. I didn't, I didn't know it was like that for you, doctor. Wow. You're considered a <laughs> high profile celebrity. Oh, I wish I wish, <laughs> but yeah, no, we're excited about the games. They're arguing, hoping that we'll get, uh, a lot of former spirits here. I'm pretty sure Manu and Tony will both be here. We'd right, like to have yeah. a Tim siding. That would be that would be pretty great. And uh, but we're we're excited. There's also fan fest um, activities that are going to be going on down at Native Hostel uh, as well for a couple of days right before the the games. I'm planning on I'm going down there for a couple of those. So uh, a lot, lot of fun things going on. Yeah, I believe Manu will be there uh, after that game, uh, that Austin Spurs game earlier this season. He spoke uh, at a conference, I think it was before the game, saying that, you know, he will be here for those games. And he did mention there'll be other, you know, legends of the Spurs there as well. So should should shape up to be great. A game tickets are still available. Uh, there's going to be a pub run, Doctor. I don't know if you're ready for that. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let's also do it right now and talk about your sneaker news. I saw you put up some of your custom kicks recently. What's going on in that world? Well, I was, you know, put, put a little um, tweet out there to, to get some advice on what to wear for the uh, 
the Longhorns run through the through March Madness, getting to the Elite Eight. Uh, I guess I, I chose poorly because the, the that day was the the day they lost in the, the Elite Eight, tough tough loss to Miami. Oh wow! Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I have several of Longhorn custom ones I made, and then I have some uh, Durants I got from uh, from somebody on the team that were in my my size that are are customs that are just made for the the Longhorn men's basketball team. Uh, so that's that's what I was doing with the customs men, and I finally got the decals in, and I'm starting the the painting process for the the Spurs, the FC, and the Longhorn uh, customs I just finished. So yeah, that's that's what's going on in the sneaker front right now. Did I hear correctly? You say you are going to be going to one of those games, the Spurs games in Austin at the Moody Center? Or oh yeah, I'm gonna try to go to both of them. If I can. Oh, you're trying to go both. Okay. Well, what, well, what shoes are you gonna be wearing then? Well, I, I believe I'm gonna have to break out those new. Uh, um, Travis Scott Phantom Lows that that I just finished making with the uh, the, the all black and then I took the swoosh and painted it silver and then I uh, put silver laces in and then I have the uh, Spurs logo that I just got the the uh, stencil in to put on the back quarter panel so I'll be wearing those so if any of our listeners are at the games and and, and see the shoes come up and uh, and say hello yeah you could definitely find Dr McCorkle on the celebrity row. Make sure you oh. look there first. Hey, everybody's going to be honest. Way up high. <laughs> <laughs> he is Dr. Ryan McCorkle making his uh, weekly visit right here on Locked On Spurs. Doctor, what's going on with Backstage? Well, we just finished uh, South by Southwest, and I think most most folks have are on board with saying that South by has been on a little bit of a, a downward twin, a trend over the last few years, and this year just mm-hmm. – Seem to be a real kind of return to the roots of smaller acts getting the chance to uh, to play. Uh, hopefully, we're having some reforms on on what we, how we treat our our artists and, and getting them paid a little better. So, so mm-hmm. South by will hopefully re, uh, return to the to former glory years. One of our local treasures, uh, Jackie Benson, uh, just a guitarist extraordinaire, has mm-hmm. really been on the forefront of. Uh, of trying to advocate for artists at, at South by and getting them uh, better treatment and, and better pay. So we saw that. And then we had some of those moments that are just iconic for South by where the, the I think the, the big one this year was boy genius being Phoebe Bridgers, Lucy Dacus and Julian nice. Baker just mm-hmm. flew into the airport, got off the plane, played like five or six songs in the airport here in Austin, got back wow. on the plane and went on to their next stop. And that's wow. just, that's the spirit of back in the day, just seeing Jack White tweet out, "I'm going to play in a Dairy Queen parking lot in 30 minutes." And those kind of yeah. spur of the moment things. Uh, Metallica and Soundgarden just showing up on the Whole Foods roof and playing, just those cool <laughs> moments. So it was nice to have that moment with Boy Genius. Then I got yeah. to work several shows with um, Robert Ellis and St. Vincent and the Willie Nelson's Luck reunion, and then ended the week at uh, ACL Live doing. Um, Margot Price's uh, ACL um, taping of the television mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. And we got to hang out with her after the show. Took us to show us this place called Lily's Porch that I did not know mm-hmm. was there. But she go back behind where the artist dressing rooms are. There's this little porch. They're cut out of Lily. And uh, it just says Lily's Porch. So for them to step out there and um, find a little, a little way to get relaxed before and after their shows. So that was a, that was pretty cool to get to see that. Uh, didn't even know it right. was there. Uh, so that was South by, and it was pretty great, pretty great week for uh, for the backstage medical practice. And you say you're not going to be sitting on on me on a celebrity row there? Come on, look at everybody. You get everybody who just name dropped right now. You just name I drop agree. how many in a row? <laughs> True. He is, do- is yeah, yeah. Right. He he is Dr. Ryan McCorkle. Again, follow him on Twitter at Austin Er Doc and on Instagram as well, so you can see those kicks he talks about. Austin E M Doc. Not to say he doesn't share it on his Twitter, but you want to definitely go to the uh, IG account right now. Hey, thanks for making Locked On Spurs your first listen each and every day, free and available wherever you get podcasts. Second listen, check out Locked On Game to Game. Uh, available on the Odyssey app, YouTube, wherever you get podcasts, and so much more. So for Dr. Ryan McCorkle, I am Jeff Garcia. We're putting a lock on this episode of Lockdown Spurs.